All right, we are back with another CRT haul update. First up, we have a 26 HF84A Toshiba Wide Boy. This has HDMI, dual component, dual S video inputs. I hope to feed this a custom 540p mode line through Mister and see if we can get a lagless result. That'll be fun to play with. Here we have a 14 M2U. It's got the squigglies, a case of the squigglies. Need to do a recap on them. Here we have a PVM 137 1000 TV line black and white monitor. Here we have two 8 inch PVMs and an 8 inch BVM, which are the 8041Q, PVM 8220, and the BVM 8044QD. Um, I haven't even had time to test these yet. Here we have a cute little 5 inch Panasonic WV5200B. Um, I believe this is just a black and white. I haven't even had time to mess with it yet. Kind of cute. She's kind of cute. Um, I do have this Panasonic AG560 I've had for a while. Um, I do have the capacitors now, so hopefully I can get that running. Here is the 20M2U. It's in really good cosmetic shape. Um, this one has the red tally light protection, no power issue. I have a video that I'm going to show my trials and tribulations with this monitor. I do end up getting it running, but then run into more issues. Trusty. Here we have a Supermax Syncore CR31A and all the adapters. I got this Pro DVD CD-ROM duplicator and even a Synergy mainframe. Any ideas what I can do with this? Let me know. Thanks to Mike for all the goodies. Now, I took another road trip last weekend. I met another cool cat named Eric and grabbed me a steak burger and a PVM 2030. Rode back home into the sunset with that big girl. Oh yeah. I've wanted one of these for the longest. I love the industrial look, the cube design of them. Um, this one's cosmetically in decent shape. And tube is bright and vibrant, but we have a bit of edge distortion going on with this one. And I, I, I think it's a little more than um, some pot adjustments we'll be able to take care of. I, I plan on going in and recapping that whole deflection board anyway. And so that'll be coming in the next video. But here's a little footage. This is just being fed S video through a Super NES with some Castlevania Dracula X. Um, he threw in for 20 bucks the DB25 pin to SCART adapter cable. And I have a SCART to RGBS BNC cable, but both the SCART heads are male. So right now I'm waiting on a SCART male to male coupler that I ordered so we can get some nice RGB action. Oh yeah. But this monitor even looks decent in this video, so I can't wait to get RGB going in the recap. So look for this recap in another video. And that's really it, just a quick update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. On the next episode of Hoarders.